it's hard to sum up this area in three words. I would say unique for one. Another one that I would put in there is inspirational and perhaps soulful. Yeah, soulful. It's almost awe-inspiring. I had learned about tomography from a math teacher who gave me a map and a book. And the book was Men of the Last Frontier by Archie Blaney, um, better known as Grey Owl. It was Canada's first uh, conservationist. Read those stories. Uh, he learned all his, uh, his wilderness trades in tomography, and I wanted to go to tomography. And a group of friends got together. Well, there was three of us and a dog. The worst uh, weather you could think of in, in May. The ice was just off. Water was freezing cold. It was snowing. Camped up, came up the North Channel, um, hit the, uh, the South Channel in a blizzard. The next day, came down to this cabin in the wilderness, and it was like, a, I don't know, something out of a fantasy movie and met the original owner who was here fishing one of the last trips he ever made up here. And we talked and chatted and uh, was uh, enamored by tomography and the stories and uh, just the magic of place. And since then, when I was 19, my first trip through, tomography has been a part of my heart and soul. I was first introduced to tomography when I was 17. I wanted to learn how to whitewater canoe and my mom knew of a fella who taught whitewater canoeing skills. His name was Hap Wilson. And so I took a whitewater course from Hap and then shortly thereafter he hired me to be an assistant guide and to work at his outfitting business. And we started guiding together and uh, really the rest is, is history. Tomogamy, tomogamy is important to me for a variety of reasons. One, because I feel that it's a very unique ecosystem and I feel that it's important to sustain unique ecosystems in our world. Um, it's also very important to me because as I said before, it, it resonates at a deeper level with me. It's become part of who I am and my reason for being. It's also important to me because it's it's a place of beauty and I think we need beauty in our world.